What's up guys, it is Brad, or Demon Asylum here, I'm bringing you all a new Fallout 4 video. So now that mods have been out on Xbox One for a little over a couple days, and most of the issues have been fixed by Bethesda, granted I know there's still a couple hiccups here and there that happen occasionally, and I'm sure they're doing their best to take care of as soon as possible, I wanted to now make this video of kind of a basic breakdown and walkthrough of the new mods feature. If you're someone on Xbox One who hasn't checked it out yet, or you still have some confusion, or if you're on PlayStation 4 and you're not going to be getting this feature until later this month, but you want to check it out now to see what it looks like and how it functions, this video is going to be for you guys. So first of all, once you have the update, for the new mods feature you will have the mods option on your main menu now when you click on it if it's for the first time you guys will be brought to a login screen where you need to type in your bethesda.net account info if you don't have one of those accounts obviously go make one i'll put a link to their site down in the description and then once you guys do type in your info you will not have to keep typing it in every single time you access the menu it will just save the information unless that is changed in a future update now when you come into the menu the first thing that you'll see at the top if you have any updates for the mods that you've downloaded from the creators that's what will be there below that you have your library in this you guys will see any mods that you've downloaded or put into your library from the bethesda website below that you have a favorite section i only have this one mod here because i am planning to try it out and i just wanted to basically show off the favorite section here uh, and then below that you have most popular this week most popular all time and an update coming out in about a week or two they're adding most popular today or most popular of that day then you have highest rated most followed latest and then all the other categories here for mods in alphabetical order which i'm just going to kind of zoom through here for you guys you can pause the video if need be or you can look at these different categories on their website or if you're on xbox one you obviously can see this stuff yourself now one of the hiccups here i was referring to earlier is pictures and descriptions not showing up kind of like the pictures aren't loading here a temporary fix that i found is just backing out and then going right back into the menu just takes a couple seconds but again this is getting fixed in the next update along with with the what is adding in most popular today so now if you guys want to download a certain mod you just go to it you can choose to favorite or unfavorite it you can choose to download it based on the file size and your internet speed will decide how long it's going to take of course to download then once it is downloaded you guys can choose to disable it or enable it you can choose to delete it of course you can choose to rate it anywhere from half a star to five stars and then finally you can choose to report it if you feel like there is a reason to now if you hit the select button on your Xbox One controller, it is the button, uh, the small button to the left of your Xbox Home button. If you click that, it'll bring up two options to either delete all mods or disable all mods. If you want to start playing legitimately again or on your legitimate saves, this is a very good option, especially if you have a bunch of different mods that are enabled. You can just quickly disable all mods this way and then you can go back to playing your legitimate saves without any mods enabled. Now if you hit Y, it'll bring up the load order. And on this screen, you guys will see all of the mods that you've downloaded, and it'll have check marks next to those mods if you have them enabled. Within this, you guys can basically choose to enable or disable any mods. You can also choose to delete any mods. Then the important part of this is you can choose what order the mods actually get loaded in. So for instance, the cheat menu mod here is higher up on the list, so it's going to get loaded first. Modern Firearms is below that, so of course it's going to be loaded last, as it is the last mod I have in this list that has a check mark next to it. Now, the load order might not seem important to a lot of you guys, but it actually is. You want to read the description of the mods you're downloading and using, because a lot of them will specifically say in the description to put the mod as far down or as far up on the load order as you possibly can to make them function at their best or 100% correctly. Where you place a mod in the load order can decide if it functions correctly, if it functions at all, or even if it makes it crash your save. So make sure you take the time to read the description of the mods that you download and use because there may be some important info in there about where to put the mod in the load order in order to make sure that it actually works and doesn't crash your save. So Modern Firearms is a perfect example in the description of this. It says to put it as far down on the load order as possible. Since it is already the lowest on here that is checkmarked, we are good. But if I had this enabled as well, we'd want to go ahead and move that down below it so that is basically how you guys are able to enable and disable the mods and how the load order and everything works i might go more into detail with that in a future video now after you guys are done basically choosing what mods that you want to have enabled and such and if you download any new mods in here and they get put into the load order or if you simply come in here and change the load order of your mods when you back out you'll get this message saying the mod selection slash load order has changed the game will now reload your data files. So when you hit OK, the game's going to restart, and I'll catch back with you guys in just a second. All right, guys, so while I'm back here, my load order has updated. Not that it really matters for the sake of this video, but before I go, I want to cover one last thing here, and that is regarding the actual save files. 
So first of all, if you guys have mods enabled whatsoever and you load up a save, it will make a copy of that save. It will not delete it. It will not overwrite it. It will make a copy of it and put it over into the modded save section. Now to see these different sections or categories, you simply go to load up a save and then you hit Y. You'll see show all saves. You'll see modded saves, legitimate saves, and then the survival saves if you have any of those. A lot of people are not realizing this and they're thinking that their legitimate saves are being deleted or overwritten where in reality they're just getting put into a separate category or section as you guys can see here. Now if you do have any mods enabled whatsoever they will always just simply make a copy of it and within those saves you will not be able to earn achievements or when you're on PlayStation 4 when the mods come out you guys will not be able to earn trophies. So if you do have a legitimate save like this again it will not delete it or overwrite it. It will make a copy of it and if you want to continue playing on that save legitimately you need to first disable all of your mods. But I do believe that is everything I wanted to cover in this video, guys. If you have any questions still, go ahead and post them in the comment section. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can and help in any way that I can. And if you guys have enjoyed this video or found it helpful or informative, feel free to drop a like on it down below and subscribe for many more Fallout 4 videos to come. Thanks for watching, everyone, and peace out.